Hello and welcome everyone to part 56 of the Holy Roman Empire Let's Play Age of Charlemagne Total War Attila. We continue where we left things off last time. Our economy is booming. Charlemagne, unfortunately, is dead. He died. Age 75. And now, Pepin takes the throne and the title of Emperor and his son, Pepin, as heir. So... Let the invasion of Ireland begin! Right, we're gonna pop these guys in. In fact, I'm just gonna... First up, I'm just gonna declare war on all of them. From up here. No, no holds bar. Um, yeah, we'll call the Papal States in. Try and get them to join in. As many of these as possible. Because I guess if we can kind of... I almost kind of want the Pope to back out, actually. So then it's easier for me to declare war on him. Well, I say that. Easy for me to... Why am I... No. I was thinking. Easy to declare war on him later. He's going to be the only faction left. It doesn't matter. We're at war with all of them now, so let us land. There we go. We are ready. We can see their armies arrayed. We've made landfall. Let's storm on in. We'll get the auto resolves out of the way. I meant to actually think about it, I meant to aggressive stance there. <laughs> That's fine though. Right, we're going to put pressure on them from here as well. Leaving the ship. Yes. It doesn't matter if they sally out to me because I should have the defensive bonus. So the big battles are going to happen uh, next turn. We're actually probably not going to fight any of these initial ones here just because um, they're very lightly defended. We'll be hitting Cashel and certainly um, Crinan. What names? Bloody fantastic. Blockade. And can you guys come via land and attack? Yes, you can. Nice. I'll bring you down. Easy peasy. And of course, we're at war with Mercia and Northumbria now as well. Just Wessex remains. Traditions. 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 I can't speak traditions. Um, ammunition for missile troops, missile damage. We actually have no missile troops in this army at all at the moment, so there is nil point of any of that. We have been raiding though. Charge bonus. Yeah, it's got the charge bonus. Nice. Right, you guys have got that down. Um, you guys could start hitting Mercia. Like you could, you could hit them here. But we're not going to just yet. I actually wonder, would Mercia take a piece? I have no. Gain in they properly the hate me. It's because I raided against them. The only faction I'm not at war with is Wessex, but they are not looking too happy right now. We'll go after Pickland then. Oh, they've got that up there. Let's yeah, let's go. Let's go preemptively strike them up here. Give us an idea of where they're. Oh, they're kings over here. As a fleet. Bye bye. I could just sack it to really hit them hard and bring in a lot of war funds. We don't want to sit here and occupy and hold on to it. Yeah, let's just sack it. Let's just do that with my fleet for now. We'll go after their king. Go around the other side. It should um, break them down quite nicely as well. Yeah, sounds good to me. Right, Dublin. We have two armies. Just okay, we want to get the reinforcements involved. Get Emperor Pepin in. I think he can still reinforce from there. Yeah, nice. Bye bye. They did not put up any kind of defense. I don't. I don't expect them to. To be honest, I expect to steamroll through this. Hopefully, some big battles though against Mercia and Northumbria. But they look like they both suffered massive amounts of attrition. Coming to the end of days. Da, 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 uh, this is the Emperor. You guys are all positioned. There is now else to do. I'm not going to spend any more money. I'm just going to save it up for next turn. End turn. Invasion of Ireland is in full swing. And just like that, only three settlements remain out of our control. After first strike, first blood. 
Looks like they're pulling their forces back. Yep, oh, they're sending some armies over there. Watch the coast. Be, yeah, it'd be good to fortify those territories. You might want to merge some armies, though. I'm not sure if the AI actually knows how to do that, though, to kind of regroup its its armies so much. Oh, they're going to attack me here. I thought that might well be something they'd do. I'm actually going to retreat from this position. Oh, I was really hoping you go the other way, because we might be in a smidge of trouble here with Odo. Uh, I should have moved him in close to the other settlement. That's fine, though. Well, they've got lots of javelins. I am slightly weakened here, especially with my cab. We've got the Scholar Cavalry, which we don't really want to lose. We've got lots of levy spears, axes. This is their king, though. If we can take these guys out, though, it, doors are open to their settlement. So, let us begin. Try and take them on. I don't think we've got quite. I don't think we've got enough to smash this first army. Sure, but for the second one, the headhunters. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Sorry, it made a slurp noise with my drink. Large Onaga. They're attacking me, so they're going to come at me. Uh, I could pull back, but not much point. Let's 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 have them at me. Explodes around. Annoyingly, it is raining, but that's fine. Swords in the center. Spears. Well, I'm not going to put you on like the flanks. I actually think they had much cavalry, but well, still, we'll pop you guys here. And here, and then archers. We're going to pop you guys on heavy shot, actually, for now. Far at will. Cavalry. Actually, no. I want to put these guys up on the higher. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to keep you all together. All together up here, please. General over here. Begin. Let's do this. We do need to go take out their Onagon on that flank. Let's put some pressure. Reinforcements coming in from there. Okay, let's put some pressure on them with my cavalry, though. Love. I need to draw their cavalry up here so I can take out their Onager. Which seems like that's where my large Onagers want to go. I'll get my Onagers just to fire on that ground spot there if I can. Because that might help. We need to just sweep these guys aside before their reinforcements can properly rally. Let's just focus you guys on that unit there. Let's try some manual firing quickly. That is good. Yep. Let's go after this guy. These guys. Ooh, might just click some at the back. A few. Uh, how about those spears there? Into these guys, Scholar Cav. Oh, they've got more cavalry coming. We need to pull back then. Oh, I need to commit my spears up to help them out. In you guys go forward. I need to pull this general to my spears. Put all that cavalry to my spears. So meanwhile, you guys are going to loop round this way. Oh, nice. We powered on into them there. Raise the banners. Let's fire on that cavalry unit there. Nice. Trying to take out our general. Defend him. Scholar cavalry up this way now. General, you can go after that on again now. Cavalry come back up this way. Enemy units have been rallied. And wedge and go. Break all these guys, break all these guys, go after that Onager. 
Go to those guys. How are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? Nice. Excellent. Seeing lots of breakage. Large onagers. Just onto that levy spear unit, please. Ooh, general's not looking healthy. You keep breaking these guys. We've probably got too many for a salter for my swords to get in and take on down. We'll have to see. Oh god, you guys got wrecked by the jabs. So sorry. I'll not be in vain. Nice one, General. We can marshal a fair a clump of them together, then we're all good. That one goes down. If I can bring you guys in here. The whole unit has been destroyed. You might still be able to do something. Onagers on that group. General in here. Throw that up. Spears over this way. Cavalry over this way. Spears just getting through. Just managed to get in there to hold. That general. General's come slamming in here. Our men have given up and are running for their lives. I know, I know. Ooh, that's my general down. I saw that jab throw. That was insane. On a gizzle here, please. See if this cab charge will help break. You go off that general. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Manual fire mode. That's it. Come on. Into all these jabs. We might just be able to do it. The enemy refuses to admit defeat. I'm going to set all these guys to just normal shot for speed. You come in, you come. I need to break these swordsmen here, though. Let's try and get those guys on them. Run, 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 cab. Okay, out charge. The men are broken and are fleeing. Come on. Yeah, we're going to win this. We've broken them. Nice. Bring all these javelins down. Beautiful carnage. Sorry that there weren't many zooms on this. We actually managed to recover quite well. But. Bit of a necessity, really. With so many enemies involved. Archers, come on, you can bring down that javelin unit. Kill. Well, archers, there's like four of them. Okay, there's one of them. I'm gonna move forward with you guys, though. Here comes his cavalry charge. This should help to break them. Come on, break those axes. Scholar Cavalry, thankfully, my, my strongest cav. These guys, why these guys are holding so long. Into the swords as well. We can hit down, there's just a few jabs left. Okay, but you need off that so you don't take massive amounts of missile damage. Oh damn, they broke the other unit of Scholar. Cav. Just go after these guys, go after the jabs, keep them busy. I know the swords are chasing and doing lots of damage to you. But my archers are now firing on those swords. You guys might want to go back to heavy shot. 
Come on. Come on, Cab. Break these Javelin units. I know you've just probably got some rear flanking damage going on as well. Yes, one unit down. Come on, take that one down. If these guys fall, then we can just turn on that unit and we're all good. Yes, heavy shot, heavy shot, heavy shot. Wreck them. Nice. The Scola cavalry should just survive. I don't know if the other one will or has. Ah, thank crap for that right into the back of these guys. Actually, no, you know what? Into the back of these guys. You guys fire into this lot here. And they're broken. Oh no, they actually haven't broken. The enemy have rallied their units! Oh, we just held out. Wreck them, lads. They're exhausted. As are most of my units. Well done. We held, held against them in the end. The right buckle, but the left held. And then we swang back round onto the right. For victory. Here we go against these guys. Charge alone should break them. Oops, we're still going in against this lot. The battle's going in our favour, really? Who knew? These guys are nearly dead. They're dead. Yes, victory! Oh, close. Very close. Whew. This is a unit of 40 remaining. Is that an Onager that's like way up the hill somewhere? There's an Onager somewhere. A 40 man unit. I know what that is. Let's go find it, Cav. It's up here somewhere where we can't see it. Or it might be in the trees. Yeah, there it is. Oh! So sorry, cavalry. No, you've broken. The men have broken and are fleeing. Wow. Oh, they may not survive now, which would be really annoying because they're a really good unit. Oh, they've broken. I don't reckon they'll survive with two, though. A Pyrrhic victory. victory. We've probably just lost that Skola Cav unit, which is going to be really annoying because I've probably lost both. 392 kills on that second unit of Skola. Swords, 291. 392 though, that's insane. 485 with the Onigas, 445. Nice. We definitely got our money's worth with them. Shame my general died. Oh yeah, we lost that one with two. They'd have survived otherwise. Damn. That's their king, who doesn't look like we managed to kill. We killed one general. We killed this guy. Well, it means now Cashel isn't going to be a big battle. That's probably going to be a straight-up auto-resolve. Oh, they've gone back into that set. Oh, we see all the Northumbrian armies. Hello. Did I piss you off by raiding you? I'm coming after your king. I'm going to raid your eastern coast now. I'm going to swing around. Heritors of power, yeah, because we lost them. Um, who's a good general? You've got, like, problems. A rider. Yes, be a rider. What's that? New blood. Odo, unfortunately, didn't last long. Pyrrhic victory, though. I will happily take that. That worked out really nicely, which now means we can just strike them down. Uh, just pissed we lost that Alina Skola Cav. Let's kill their king. Boom, face smack. And dead. No one lost. Um, ransom. Ready for orders. Just kill him. So he's not heading towards the legend trait. All right, in we go. Take Cashel. Straight on in. Butcher them all. Their armies came out to meet us. And Occupado. Ba -ba boom. 
We now have a whole county, province rather. Okay, let's do all that. Right, you guys are going to want to remain in Cork for now. I don't know if oh, we've got military buildings in Cashel and another one in Dublin. Okay, well, we'll probably destroy the one in Cashel. It's blacksmith. There's a blacksmith over there. Let's. Um, yeah, let's destroy that one. We'll keep that one. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, what's the corruption like over here? 76%. Yeah, we need to build some stuff. That's cool, though. Technology. What do we fin What do we actually finish researching? Master of the Sea. Oh, yes, we've now got the Tier 3, so we can upgrade all my, my ships. Well, my one navy. Kingdom of Munster is no more. So let's go. The trade city is what I wanted to get. Let's upgrade all those cities. Even more money. More money. Um, although, also, Frankish horsemen. If we got to that, we'd get Skola Knights, replaces Skola Cavalry. Paladin Guardsmen replaces Guardsmen. Uh, for the generals, that's all cool. Right. Is that. I don't even know if there's anyone in. Oh, they're here. Hello. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait at the river because how do they how do they, how do you cross? Oh, it's, it's literally here. So we'll get a river crossing battle. Oh, they got they've got graze hounds. Nice. Um, like as we can start sieging you, we could bring up oh we could bring up the incense franks for the siege. And we'll bring up heroes of the marches. Or oh, bring let's bring the em emperor. Oh yeah, hang on. Which of you have got have you got onagers? You have one. You have none. none will escape. We take this Continue the siege, and then these guys will go in for the death blow. Would that I were a swift the oh, that's actually an army outside, isn't it? Huh. Okay, I'll take you down outside. I literally thought I was about to. I was like, I can't pull back from this to in camp. Okay, let's go take you guys down. Surprised they're actually standing their ground for once. Normally they pull back on these, but that's fine. It's all good. Not a problemo. Fog? No, we don't want fog. Wait. Dry. Do, 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 do. Burn it all. We haven't done one of these for a while. And these, unfortunately, are going to be battles which you... At the moment, it seems like you're not going to see in Total Warhammer. There are no... Uh, well, as far as I know, anyway, there's, I think there's a encamp stance, but I don't know if they have any kind of army or barracks to... Shown on the campaign map because towns that are on wall don't have any kind of representation on the battle map that you're fighting over. You just seem like your garrison sallies out, which I don't like. And I've told the I've told the designers and the devs when I was last up there for a visit. So I do not like this. I miss them because it just seems like, I mean, I guess the counter argument I saw some people say was that there seems like a lot. There was a lot of sieges in Attila, but then you know that's kind of what happened. In you know you had open. There's plenty. We've had open battles, right? I mean, in this part alone, this is a good case. We've had open battles, and we would have had opportunities for plenty of sieges, sure. Um, and by the sheer matter of fact that you know towns and castles, you know, often were walled and fortified, so you would have to breach those walls. So um, I kind of see that as a a null point, pretty much. If oh, they're going to sally out, damn them. Idiots. See, it's a bit of a null point to kind of say um, there's just too many sieges. That, that's that's what was that's what happened. <laughs> the sieging, you know, protect your village and things like that. But obviously, you did have unwalled towns and things. So, and and sure, they should be represented. But oh no, in fact, yes, they should be represented. So my argument to that is that. There should be some kind of representation of the this town you're trying to defend, um, unless you know everyone's wants to just because it would make tactical sense to defend a town in the narrow street sometimes, force your enemy to those kind of points sometimes. 
Oh, I just burned that for no reason, but okay. I like to burn things. But yeah, there's my two. If you want to hear more about the whole thing um, and where that came up from, if you haven't heard that before, that information, uh, then check out the latest Warcast because we discuss it there. Their tower has fallen. Good news. Yep. See that cavalry unit? It's gonna try and flank me. See if we can't. Oh no, it's gonna run away. Cool, that's fine. We bring some cavalry round and my general. Till then, they are just happy to get hit. Can we push these guys back, catch them out. Oh, they're going to wedge. Pull them back. Slow moving cavalry target, please. Come on. Ah, oh, not far enough. Too far? Ooh, no, it's not going to catch the keep moving. Moving targets. Swoop on in. We've taken out that tower so we can now move in with these guys. My jabs be throwing. Whichever we goes in shield wall, really. There we go, they finally decided to commit. Against spears, though. A little bit late on moving those guys in, but it's fine. We'll go after the jabs. Pull these units back purely because I want to run into my spears and also be shot to pieces. Cavalry back on in. Bring you general in against these guys. Nice. Wreck that king. Tell you guys all to stop firing. Wunderbar. Take the horseman down. Slaughtered. Kill, 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 kill. And we can end it there. They've already got an army garrisoning the settlement, so they'll just flee off somewhere else. 208 kills with the large Onager. I love them so much. All about that dat arty, though. And there we go. Make haste, men. Oh, that army's actually outside as well. What were they thinking? And why can't I? Forgive why can't me, I attack this? Is it because they're already besieging it? March. We, take this we can draw them in. Huh. I actually kind of want to. Because they can't get into the city. Oh, that's why they can't get into the city. I want to actually go around and take these guys out before they can. Especially if they're going to be fortified, because then we can burn them. So I think that's what I'm going to do next time, guys. So let me know if you think, you know, just for why not, we can. Leave this guy besieging and send this army around to hit them fortified. Because they can't get into the city, because it's besieged, I think. Uh, they might get attacked there, but that's all good. We've got these guys moved up. Um, we're going to send you guys over here. You'll hold Dublin, though, because we need to make sure that the Mercy doesn't suddenly sail over and get stuff. I'm kind of surprised Northumbria doesn't potentially think about doing that. Let's upgrade all these ships, retrain them. There we go, Frankish Heavy Marines now. I am going to force march you guys. Uh, you could probably could do with some re 
replenishment actually before we send you round. Um, again, I'll let you guys comment on that. What we should do with them. Should we send them round? Should we pull them back? Let them replenish a little bit? We obviously can't hit uh, them up in Scotland, but we can hit them down at Bamborough. Uh, we can't hit them there. That's not on the coast. Actually, that's our only limited target. So actually, probably best to keep this fleet over here, actually, and keep on raiding here, because there's three settlements there we can take on. Um, there's Kelwent as well to take on. But the Invasion of Ireland is in full swing. We'll finish it next part, and then move on to Pickland, descend through Northumbria that way, then into Mercia, then Wessex. And all the while... Keeping an eye on the Pope. And, ah, it, this helps even more if he's sending armies away <laughs> to help with the fighting. Leaves Rome exposed. <laughs> I might just go kill him now. Should we just go kill the Pope now? Because I don't care for any other Christian factions anymore. Let's let's finish him. I kind of want to just get rid of him. Because I, I still really want Wessex to be my last kingdom thing. I'm going to go kill the Pope. We're going to start building up an army for the Pope. I've got everything in place here. So... We just need to upgrade that when the palace is ready. Then we're going to go kill the Pope. Right. That's that's on the cards. No holding back. Dead Pope. Until next time, though, I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, especially if you're wondering why there were delays to the schedule this weekend. They're all announced there. Unfortunately, there's no way of me easily being able to do it on YouTube without uploading a video. That's not always practical. Um, <clears throat> oh, God, what was that? Uh, anyway, until the next time. Affiliates and sponsors, XMG, Green Man Gaming, GT Omega Racing... Till the next one, I've already said that, I've mucked up my outro, ciao for now.